Hello and welcome to the last episode of this first iteration of Let's Compose, where I break down my composition process into digestible YouTube videos. Now, in this episode, I finished this piece and I just want to say I really enjoyed doing this and this piece is kind of weird, but it was also my way of trying out this format, seeing if you liked it. So, so let me know in the comments whether you like this series, whether you like this piece, even though it's kind of weird. And if you would like to see me do another one of these series with another kind of piece, maybe something more romantic or fantasy, uh, let me know. This was a big experiment for me and the piece that came out of it is a kind of an experiment as well. So I hope you like it and I hope you like this last episode of Let's Compose. All right, let's get back into this thing. I'm going to try and finish this piece today and we'll see how long it takes, but it will be nice. And I got a tip from a friend on Instagram who said, if you double the guitar chords left and right and keep the melody in the middle, so I'm gonna try that. And I also thought maybe I can have it also in bass there, if I put it in the ensemble rather than the chords. I think I prefer to move it to bass manually. So it was doubling this and panning them hard left and hard right. Let's see. see which bass would work. Try a few out. If I put these down, what happens? No, let's get them all regular. And let's see if I also can get another guitar for that melody because I would like it to be higher. I don't use a lot of guitars. Okay, no. <laughs> try and see if I can uh, get someone to record this part. Uh, but for now, we're going to do it with what we have. That's maybe for a separate video, because I have an idea for that, which I'm not going to spoil. Yeah, I'm just going to go over this part and see what needs to be done. Maybe I need some bigger impacts there. Let's just try a couple of things and then we'll see. Where are we? Oh, there we are. I don't think that's gonna help. I think that's an idea for another type of piece. And here I want to keep it mostly orchestral. I could easily add them, uh, but then I need to turn the rest down. And I like the way how it's built up mostly orchestral and not with that much sound design and other stuff, except for the guitars. I think I'm gonna finish this rhythm. Do, 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 do. And do that for everything else. Here we also need a repetition. myself Let's try that. Let's just try that because I think it will be nice. First, get those bass notes in place. And let's get these involved as well with the fifth. And then, yeah. And then the last one is short. And that's our ending. I just need to get this into other low stuff, like 
Besøg Then there should be a note that says it to stop. I don't know why that note keep that note keeps playing. Maybe oh maybe that's the problem. This one is not on the right articulation. Oh, I think I figured it out finally. Yes, I did. Oh. Okay, so why this didn't work? I kept putting in this F here, which in Metropolis Arc is the key switch for the stop key. So when I play, it stops. But I kept being annoyed by the fact that when I played this and then put this in, it didn't stop. But that's because this is on an other articulation than this. And I have set these expression maps that they are on different tracks. That's why it wouldn't stop. But now we should have. There we go. Which chords I'm going to use? Um, so that's for sure. Then I think I'm gonna do that so that you also get a like a progression in intensity. It's two bars, two bars, one bar. To change that here, and then we're gonna yes, have the full chord here. Also, but this F sharp is also nice. <laughs> so many options. I think I'm gonna go with that one in the end because I want this last chord really to be very harsh, and I'll figure out later what to do with the violas. And then, yeah. And this needs to be shorter. Then it's long, short. Then it's long, short, long, short, long, long, long.
No, 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 no. I need those guitars to stop. some sort of swell hit. All right, I just did a bunch of deleting stuff and I think I accidentally deleted some hits that I had. Oh well. Wait, I didn't do it in the brass yet. All right. Alright, and then just in the low woodwinds, copy that, move that. And I just need something for that guitar now. And I'll add the chords and woodwinds as well. Yep. And something similar here. There's very little expression in this, but it's just as a support of the fire chords. <laughs> like it <laughs> that's all right uh, maybe we just do the <laughs> do i dare i'm not sure <laughs> Figured for a second uh, let's see with percussion Thank you. 
knows what that theme is. I still need to move this to the boots. And I'll do this in other woodwinds as well. And I might divide these over baronets and oboes. I need to finish this phrase. percussion there do, 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 do. I'll just let this let them join this mm. and I want some suspended cymbal rolls nailed that timing all right almost there i feel but this transition is a bit harsh maybe i do need the squire to just be in the lower register or, <laughs> or this is mm, or Feels better. Yeah, just something worth for this guitar now. We're not gonna lose some melody, just. Mm -mm -mm. Right, I am starting to uh, like it. And one thing I want to try is have that ending idea going on. There was ending idea. there in case I do. So sure. <laughs> Needs to be slower for sure. this and this all right and for some extra creepy and i was 
also thinking a soft flute or other flutes. Maybe just the flutes and not the violin. some notes in between here which i kind of liked and maybe can be in some kind of a some kind of in between line maybe just here very 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 soft <laughs> now that legato thing was very loud maybe this is nice in octaves with an alto flute just trying things almost done this ending can be smoother and very very soft and that's it i think this is done do i wow uh let me think let me think let me think i think it is i'm just gonna listen to the whole thing one more time fix this locator range and let's see <laughs> I think that's it. I think it is. There's a weird crack in my headphones in the end here, but I'm not sure. There might be some mixing things I'll fix, but that's it for season one of Let's Compose. This piece is very weird. <laughs> I am happy with it, but it's uh, it's very weird and not what I usually write. Uh, but it was also just for me to try out how this works and let me know if you like the series, if you like the piece, and um, I'll see you in the next season, I guess. And that was it. Like I said, let me know if you like the piece, whether you like the format, and if you would like to see me do, do one again. Thanks as always to my patrons, Oscar Aldred, Matthijs Dierks, Carl L, Danny Lynch, Michelo, John Dennis, and Frank William, and I'll see you in the next one. Did I just delete all the audio? That's not very clever. Maybe it's this one.